Si da pata mkuwa san cryptocurrency ko da bitcoin da ya ba da example da shi dukkan nan su asali daga blockchain technology ne blockchain technology kuma yana daga cikin disruptive technologies ko abun da ake cewa imagine technologies imagine technologies kuma sune asalin technology na fourth industrial revolution wanda ake cewa a ce industry 4.0 ko fo ir to wannan yana daga cikin su so so fourth industrial revolution technology da suka go usually so they are disruptive in nature disruptive in nature in the sense that zaka ga duk abun da ya zo a cikin su yawanci yana jirkita abun da yake aka saba yi ne a duniya yana challenging status quo shine kaman blockchain technology kaman artificial intelligence kaman big data analytics kaman quantum computing kaman cloud computing kaman 5G kaman autonomous vehicle kaman augmented reality kaman virtual reality kaman biotechnology nanotechnology cyber security okay abuko so what the nan sune asalin abubuwan da ake cewa fourth industrial revolution su nature su shine suna disrupting duniya canje abu yadda aka sara saba kuma ana ce musu imagine technologies ana ce musu imagine technologies ne saboda yanzu suke imagining ba su gama nuna ba yanzu suka tsuro tun da yanzu suka tsuro akwai kyakkyawan zaton za su ci gaba da caccanjawa saboda yanzu suna stages ne na suna metamorphosis transformation din su yanzu yake faruwa kuma ita duniya daman a abin da aka yi documentin banda wanda ba ai ba wanda ba ai ba da yawa yana da muhimmanci industrial revolution guda hudu ne akwai first one da aka yi shine wanda ya faru a Britania largely a Liverpool da Manchester a wadannan cities din guda biyu first industrial revolution ya faru abin da aka yi documentin a tarihi amma gabannin nan akwai industrial revolution a Andalus akwai a Misra akwai kuma a Baghdad amma ba a yi documentin wannan ba wanda aka yi documentin a wannan ne shi kuma ya faru ne wannan wajen 18th century second industrial revolution ya faru a Britain Belgium Germany France sai dan daga baya kadan sai America ta shigo ciki shi kuma second industrial revolution ya faru ne akan abin da ya shafi kirkiro wutar lantarki She first industrial revolution steam power ni steam energy second industrial revolution kuma is about electricity mass production na al'amura da kuma mechanization say third industrial revolution shi kuma ya faru a kasashen da second industrial revolution ya faru amma kuma sai a kara australia da japan su so, sun shiga third industrial revolution ne shi kuma third industrial revolution shine which brought about globalization shine kaman information and communication technology the invention of any uh, modern computers invention of internet world wide webs da makamantan su wannan sune asalin third industrial revolution so fourth industrial revolution is an extension of the third industrial revolution shine this is what brought about the fourth industrial revolution dukkanin su suna cikin ICT ne da kuma digital abubuwa shi cryptocurrency kana iya cewa digital currency ne wanda yake kaman alternative platform payment ne na transaction kuma ana yin sa ne using encryption algorithm akwai algorithm that is called encryption algorithm kuma usually ana aiki da distributed system nature ne na blockchain te technology ake yi so bitcoin is part of it she bitcoin wanda shi yafi zama popular bisa ga da tambaye ta ke nunawa akan bitcoin ne bitcoin kuma an kirkire shi ne a 2009 hakika nun wanda ya fara kirkiran sa har yanzu ba a san waye ba a duniya amma ya kirkira da abin da ake cewa sido name wato suna ka boye asalin sunan ka sai ka aiki da wani suna wanda ba asalin sunan ka bane As, sunan da ya saka shine Satoshi Nakamoto shine asalin sunan da ya sa wa kansa 
So daga 2009 zuwa yanzu wajen shekara 15 kenan za mu ce in 2024 wannan shine in summary ana aiki da shi wajen transaction kuma yanzu ana sai da shi in unit da makamantan su kuma alternative platform ne na payment da makamantan su fatawoyi akan halasce akwai su akan wanda suke ga haramun ne akwai su wadanda suke yi kuma wannan na ga cikin matsalolin da ba a cika san mutun ɗe ya zauna yi fatawa ba don haka yanzu kawai ba fatawa zan ba ku ba zan kawo muku ne kawai wadanda suka yi fatawoyin sai ku duba amma ni ba sai nayi ba insha Allah akwai grand mufti na Egypt da na san shi ya ba da personal opinion nasa amma saboda muhimmancin sa ya kai a fade shi shi yana da fahimtar rashin halasci ya dogara da manyan dalile guda biyu na farko yace akwai karancin credibility a cikin cryptocurrency ko musamman blockchain ta ka musamman shi bitcoin da ake magana na biyu yace risk a ciki is very high hatsarin da ke cikin sa yana da yawan gaske a wadannan dalile biyu ya gina fatawa akan haramci sannan muslim council na indonesia su ma sun bi bayan sa da wannan fahimta din a kodan da suke ga halasce daga cikin su akwai kaman shari'a review veru na bahrain su da suka zama akai yunani mostly position din shine blockchain technology halal ne cryptocurrency halal ne bitcoin halal ne ina sai sauko muku daga sama ne zuwa kasa kadan kada idan muka dauki fik council of north america akwai fatawar su ma da suka dafi akan halal ne sun yi fatawar ta su wanda na san ta fi zama ma more comprehensive akan sauran in zan tuna on 2nd september 2019 suka yi zama suka fitar da consensus wato ijma'i nasu a wurin cewa sun duba blockchain technology cryptocurrency particularly bitcoin akai suka mai emphasizing bitcoin halal ne a fatawar nasu in zan tuna wanda suka yi signing fatawar lokacin on their behalf on 2nd september 2019 akwai dr abdul bari marshal da kuma dr yasir qadi su bi suka yi signing fatawa a lokacin na san na karanta da suka yi isdarin ta musamman da suka yi ba sun dauke kawai mahangar addini bane sun taro masana technology da makamantan su da masana finance da kuma wadanda suke experts a shari'a so irin wadannan fatawa da aka tara bangarorin masana da dama ta fi yin adalci akan ra'ayin mutun daya su sun tafi akan halal ne reason din su na halattarwa sun dauki ka'ida daya da take muhimmiya a wurin malaman usul shine al-asl fil ashya al-ibaha shine asali cikin komai a mu'amala sun ce bitcoin mu'amala ne issue na kudi mu'amala ne ai akwai lokacin da zina ne da azurfa aka sani akwai time da ake trade by barter a rika exchanging kawai kaya ne da kaya su so, da shi kudi abu ne na mu'amala yanzu kasar mu ne ta zauna ta yi tarayya shugabanni suka ce ga wani abu da za a yi takarda a buga hoton wane a rubuta kaza shine kudi in yau central bank ta zauna ta samu amincewa sai ta fitar da sabon kudi kwaya daya naira dubu biyar sai akai approving ya zama kudi ko bai zama ba baka da bukatan aya ko hadisi gabannin kai da da wannan kudi ne yanzu in aran ma ya baka dubu dai sai ka ce ina aya ko hadisi tace gaban wannan gaban takarda a matsayin kaza ko kuma ina ahid da tace wannan naira ne kaga ai baka bukatan aya saboda me saboda kudi mu'amala ne shi a mu'amala baka bukatan nassi sai dai a ce a wajen yin saka kiyaye kar ka sabawa nassi so da ka suka ce babin mu'amala ne kudi kuma al-asl fil ashya halal asali al-amra halal ne wanda ke halattarwa bai bukatan nassi me kore halasci shi ake bukatan ya kawo nassi saboda al-asl asalin tushen shine halal saboda ko ayar bakara ta 20 ta ce huwa allazi khalaqa lakum ma fil ardi jami'an wannan ya shiga ciki du ya shiga cikin jami'an sai suka ce wannan babin mu'amala ne asalin sa halal ne sai suka dauki mu wasu ka'idodi kaman haka na farko cewa babu credibility dalilin me dalilin cewa akwai kasashe da basu halattar ba 
sai suka ce to ai a yanzu akwai kasashe kudi ma na kasa akwai kasashen da ba sa yadda da shi yanzu idan ka tafi da dalar amerika duk darajar ta anan da take ta tashi in ka tafi north korea da ita sai a ci karbanta kaga wannan me ke yi na ba ita ke nan ta zama tana da credibility inda ake karba ba ta da credibility inda ba a karba amma bai nuna cewa ta zama haramu dan issue na credibility doka ne kuma blockchain technology ina tana ai muna office nayi policy akai wanda a 2023 federal executive council na nigeria sun yi approval national blockchain policy for nigeria kuma ni na gabatar da shi akai don haka nigeria blockchain da dukkan branches nasa doka ta halartar abinda kawai policing yace regulatory agencies su yi develop regulatory instrument da za su tabbatar da an yi regulating wannan an sanya ka'idodin yadda za a yi da shi mafhum tayi don haka issue na credibility is subjective ba objective babu bane saboda duk wani abin da aka yadda da shi a wani wuri wani wuri sai a ki yadda da shi na biyo level of high risk da aka fada cewa is risky wannan yana iya faruwa ko da kudin mu a yanzu kana da misali yanzu mai iya yiwa kana da nera miliyan 1 da rabi mai iya yiwa shekara 1 da ya wuce in zaka canja ta adala shekara 1 da ya wuce mai iya yiwa adala wannan nera miliyan 1 da rabi ka samu nawa naam in ka dauke ta misali an anera ma 450 canjin zai baka nawa kage zai baka sama da dala 300 zai baka sama da dala 300 naira miliyan 1 da rabi amma a yanzu sai ya zama me zai baka dala 100 ne kun bance mamancin kage high level of risk ai akwai shi a naira ma amma wannan bai me da naira ta zama me ba ta zama ba haramun ba bai me da ita ba saboda duk wani kudi a duniya iya da wannan vulnerability din sai dai kawai in Allah ya taimaki kasashe irin nasu Saudi Arabia da za ka shekaru da dama haka abun yake saboda mai saboda yadda Allah ya taimake su ke iya defending currency su ga foreign reserve mai karfi ga kuma cash inflow da ke shigowa kasar da yawa sannan ga kuma foreign exchange da suke samu ga kuma export da suke da shi ta wasu bangarori ko masu zuwa haji da umura kadai su sai abu soto da shi ya ishe su wannan su wadannan misalai ne kaga wannan high risk bai nuna ke bantuwa da kawai wai blockchain ne ko da bitcoin ne yana iya shiga wurare da dama cewa akwai uncertainties uncertainties yana iya shiga cikin komai saboda akwai inflation yana iya zuwa ai mun ga economic meltdown abun da yazo ya faru mun ga recession da aka shiga a kasar na a wajen 2017 da abubuwan da ya wanzar so uncertainties yana shiga cikin komai da komai so da ka in ka dauka wadanda suka haramtar ba za ka ga wani hujja karara na shari'a da tace haramun bane sai dai su duba wasu al'amura da suna cikin abin da a yanzu muke ganin cewa su mene ne su halal ne kuma bai sa mun haramtar da su ba ala ayyi halin fatawar fiqh council for north america sun tafi akan cewa na farko riba na shiga cikin bitcoin kamar da yake shiga cikin sauran kudi na biyu a transaction da ake yi da shi sharudan da ke shiga cikin sauran transaction a kiyaye na uku wanda suke haramtarwa sun ce ai akwai uh, abin da ake cewa anonymity na wanda kake transaction lokaci baka ma san akwai anonymity to wanda suka yi blockchain shine ko bitcoin shine manufar ya zama identity is hidden na mun shine manufar kuma sun ce is distributed babu wani centralized abu so hikimar yi dama shine ya zama distributed kada ya zama wata kasa da yana da total control akan sa a duniya shine dama manufar yi din <laughs> so kula ga wannan suka ce riba na shiga cikin sa dole a kiyaye ka'idodi sannan suka ce akwai zakka akai ina ga yayi magana akan tabbai akan zakka so da ka suka ce akwai zakka akan bitcoin ga duk wanda yake kasuwanci amma sai suka ce kuma ai kaffa kaffa dukkan technology a matakin sa na farko yana da jarrabawa da yawa ba wai dan haramun ba sai dai kada mutun yayi garajen dukan dukiyar sa ya tura ciki gaba daya da wannan hatsari da jarrabawa in ta zo za ta iya cutar da shi sai mutun ya bi abu kaffa kaffa idan yana da interest so da haka ga hujjojin masu halasci ga hujjojin masu me wanne ka gamsu da shi to ba ni na fada ba ni dai isa baki na alaikum wallahu ta'ala a'lam an samu karin media